Okay, now that I've got my uh, screws set for my strings, I can actually pull this pin out. But I can set my string line back up there again and get right back up, up over that point. I've decided to use this as a template. I want to make my holes 14 inches in diameter because most of my posts are only 8, 9, and 10. That'll give me a couple of inches all the way around it. So what I'm going to do is the center is right about there. So what I'm going to do now is just take and go around this. This is 13 inches across. So I'll just go about an inch, half inch to an inch on the outside of that. That will give me my hole for my post to set. I figure this would be pretty hard up here because it's been packed. I'm trying to get the outline of my hole right now. Well, this digging is a little bit slower than it used to be because my shoulders and arms are not what they used to be. Um, I have injured my right one pretty bad. I know how I can use it and how I can work with it, but I also know its limitations. I probably have... I'm going to get some comments of why don't I get an implement to go on the back of the tractor. Well, you know, I don't do that many holes here and I can't really justify the money to spend an auger because we're probably looking at a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars by the time I get the auger in the bit. Uh, so, I think that I can um, use the post hole diggers enough where I can get the job done and still be moving forward. It's not real, real hard. It just takes a while to get them dug, that's all. Besides, how would I get any exercise if I do everything with a tractor, right? This dirt here is not something we can use, but I don't want to leave it here either, so I'm going to scoop it up. I'm going to dump it over the bank.
See, I wasn't kidding. That's a good sized root right there. There were several down in there. Well, I actually got up this morning, went to the church, because I've been working over there for about the past four months on uh, Saturdays, working on a pavilion. Well, now I have quite a bit of material for all of my braces. You know, there's always great excitement surrounding the last hole that I dug up here on any of these buildings that I've built. And this is no different This hole feels like it's nothing but shale down in there. Thank goodness the others were just <laughs> roots and red clay. And I'll tell you what, even when this red clay sits up, it gets harder than a woodpecker's lip. I seem to have got it down to about 20 inches now, so that's enough for my two inches of gravel in the bottom and the 18 inches on the bottom of the post. Well, this dirt isn't helping a great deal. I've been dumping it all over the bank over there, um, but it is helping a little bit. Last pile I'll have to move as well. I did it this way so I didn't get dirt all mixed in with this new gravel. I have an idea on how to keep that concrete away from the post. So that's what I'm working on here. So I'm at my two foot mark. And what I thought I would do is run these staples along this edge then I'm going to tar over the top of this. Now, when I get it set down in there, I'll have some that I need to trim off, so I'm not going to go any higher than that. But I can actually um, put the tar over the top of that right there and hopefully be able to seal this up for a long time to come. I don't think that this stuff will break down. All right, I've got the bottom covered, and this will actually be sitting on top of gravel, so I'm not going to worry too much about this. I'm just going to worry about this seam right here.
when I get this post in the ground, that's when I'll actually cut that top portion off and seal up the upper portion.
All right, guys, what I've done is I've moved the mark from my pins that I've got set on the center, moved it over a foot here, and I moved it over a foot here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to put a screw in each one of them, and then what that will allow me to do is be able to transfer another mark that will actually be parallel up here a little bit closer to my post. The original, I'm going to draw a little bit of a red ring around it. Alright, so now what I will be able to do is measure over from these lines that I just put on here and know exactly where the center of my hole is so that I know where my line goes over here on the post. And I'll be able to do the same thing from this side over here. Alright, we've got to do the same thing to this side too. All right, I put two just three quarter inch strips that I have um, where I've got two lines marked on the center of my post on this side and then on this side. This gives me the ability to just bump my level up here all right, and to be able to do it from this direction here. It is on the center line right here on this side and it is on the center line on this side. That will allow me also to be able to measure over from those marks that I did to be able to let me know if my post is centered. And that puts the middle of the post about where it needs to go, just a hair bit more. This one has got to go that way. Well, I couldn't have got that more perfect that time. How about that? It's still good. This post is good. That's about center.
what I'm doing is I'm sloping this just a little bit away from the pole. That way if any water runs down, um, it should run off. We've got all these posts cut off now, ready for me to set um, the top plates. So folks, if you're enjoying this build, we want you to click up here in the top right hand corner of when we started the outdoor kitchen because I'm basically building it the same way. Guys, thanks for stopping by. We really appreciate it. And we look forward to seeing you back up here at the cabin again next time.